Hi everyone! This video is going to be for a review on Too Faced Beauty Wishes and Sweet Kisses Holiday Set. So this kit is $34. It is available through Too Faced, Sephora, Ulta, and Beauty.com. And the great thing about purchasing this if you're interested right now is that both Too Faced and Beauty.com are having their 20% off sales. So you can get this kit for 20% off of its regular $34 price tag. The links to those sales, if you're interested, I will put in the description box for you along with any coupon codes that you might need. I will be doing live swatches for you integrated into this video as I talk about this product, which I've already tested out and which I am wearing on my face. So I will go over those and include those in this video for you. If you want to have a written review that you can look over, or if you just want to see photographs and swatches of all the colors in this kit, I will put a link to the review, which has already been up at the website at allurebeauty.com. All right, I hope that you are subscribed to this channel so you can be eligible for the giveaways that are upcoming. Link to the blog sales also in the description box below if you are interested. Let's get looking at this kit. So this kit first comes in this tin can here. It has a very festive design as you can see and it's really, really lightweight. And although it's not like the slimmest of compacts or anything like that, because it is lightweight and it's pretty sturdy, I think that it's a good candidate for traveling with as long as you don't need something that is super slim. And it includes, as so we open it up here, three eyeshadows, a bronzer, a highlighter, it's technically like a shimmering bronzer, but for practical uses, it's a highlighter and a lip gloss. So to have all of those things that create almost a full faced look, um, I think that it's a pretty compact design that is easy to travel with. So here are the eyeshadows up close. Let's start with the top row. These are three shades. They all come from the chocolate palette. So if you own the chocolate bar palette, then you will be familiar with these shades. So this largest shade here is white chocolate. The middle shade here is creme brulee and the shade over here is oat chocolate. As I'm sure many of you have already heard, these shadows do have a wonderfully creamy soft formula and the two shades, creme brulee and oat chocolate, both have very, very good pigmentation and they're really rich on the lids. I am wearing um, the two shades on the lids and in my crease and they blend in really, really smoothly and they look very beautiful for a neutral but shimmering look. White chocolate here, which is the largest sized pan, I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like it is just almost like a throwaway shade. I wish that it would have been something more interesting. I do have it applied here under the brow bone, but honestly, it barely has any effect on my skin. It is pretty sheer in color and really is only for either blending out the edges, I think, of a shadow in your crease or putting under the brow bone. Not even for me really a lid shade. That said, I think that the three pair well together and give you a very nice neutral with a hint of glam eye look. All right, moving on to Too Faced's infamous Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And this is actually my first time using this bronzer, believe it or not. I totally echo all of the positive rave reviews about this bronzer. It has such a silky, buttery, smooth texture to it. As soon as you put it on the skin, it just sort of melts in and blends into the skin. It has a wonderfully neutral tone to it. It is not at all orange or fake tanner-like. Technically, if you look real close in the pan, it has gold shimmer particles in it, but those really do not show up on the skin at all. It creates a matte effect. And I have it applied on the forehead to contour and bronze and under the cheekbones and along the nose, just where I would naturally and lightly contour for every day. Normally, I really dock the points on products when they have a fragrance to them. And this has a very distinct chocolate scent to it. But you know what? I think this is going to be a rare exception because 
A, the scent is wonderful. And I'm not a huge chocolate fanatic in the first place, but I still think that it smells scrumptious. The second thing is that I looked at the ingredients for this and it looks like the reason why it has the chocolate scent is because there is actual cocoa powder added to the powder, to the bronzer, and not because there is a fragrance added to the product. So the fragrance comes from a powder that, you know, is included in our food and doesn't seem like it will irritate the skin. So like I said, normally fragrance is a no-no in skincare and makeup, but this is kind of a rare exception for how I judge a product based on the fact that it smells. Then on the other side here, we have the Snow Bunny Bronzer. And as you can see, it consists of four strips of color, but honestly, all of them are pretty sheerly pigmented and I just swirl them all together. And when you mix all the colors together, it creates a completely natural, very slightly tanned shade. But honestly, you know, it's applied here on top of my cheekbones and realistically, once applied to the skin, it doesn't have that much color. And it creates a beautiful sheen without leaving any like distinct noticeable glitter particles on your skin. So because the overall effect is very luminous and like a sheen, it is appropriate for using not only on the cheekbones, but down the bridge of the nose, on the cupid's bow, and on any other part of the face that you want to luminize without it looking glittery or sparkly and it blends in really smoothly. I was pretty impressed by how much I enjoyed this product. I didn't think I was going to be that intrigued by it, but I really, really enjoy it. I think it's a great highlighter. And last up, we have this new lip gloss, and it is in the shade Naked Dolly, and that's the only thing that I have applied to my lips. It is sheer and translucent in color, but it is a very slightly peachy, pinky nude color. And I love the effect that it has. Of course, you're not going to get some bold lip out of it, but this lip cream allows you to get a naturally nude lip. Whereas if you used a nude lipstick, that is going to blank out your lips or mute your lips out. Um, even if it's on like the natural lip shade side, this, because of the translucent nature of the color, gives you a more natural or subtle nude lip. And I really enjoy that. Normally it's hard for me to pull off a nude lip or I feel like it's hard for me to pull off a nude lip, but this makes it really, really simple and something that I feel comfortable with wearing every day, even though it is a nude shade. In terms of the formula, it isn't sticky at all. It does have some body to it, but it's not tacky or grimy. Um, and it's very emollient. So it moisturizes the lips and sort of keeps the moisture sealed in while it lasts. It's not a super long wearing lip gloss. It lasts maybe an hour or so before I feel like I want to add more product, but otherwise the formula is really, really enjoyable. So overall, I think this is a really nice kit and sampling of Too Faced products. Now, if you are someone who is pretty experienced with Too Faced as a brand, you've been buying their products regularly for a while now, this probably isn't the best set for you to get for yourself because you likely already own the Chocolate Bar palette and all of the shadows that are in this kit you'll find in that palette already. So you're not getting any new eyeshadows. Likewise with the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. So many people already own this bronzer. I think I'm a rare exception to that rule in terms of being this being my first time trying this bronzer. And you may have the Snow Bunny bronzer also. The only truly new thing that is included in this kit is this lip uh, gloss, which apparently is going to be released in the full size soon but is sort of being introduced or sneak peeked in this kit. So there's nothing new in this quote unquote new in this palette except for this lip gloss. And if you own the chocolate bar palette already, it's not going to be worth it even if you don't own these other three products. And if you own the bronzer already, it might still be a good deal for you as long as you don't own the chocolate bar palette um, and are okay with getting another 
set of the bronzer if you're someone who uses it every day and you know you're going to be repur repurchasing it in the future. So if you are someone like me who has sampled Too Faced products here and there um, but aren't a regular customer of their products, this is a fantastic kit to have and to get a nice sampling of quality products from the brand. So I really, really enjoyed this kit. And if you know of someone who would like a neutral face kit um, with a little bit of shimmer or glam and who doesn't have a lot of Too Faced products, this is also a good deal, especially at $34 considering the amount of product you're getting and the number of things that you're getting in the kit. All right, I hope that this was helpful to you if you were considering purchasing this kit and I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Please go check out my most recent video, which was for the Ray Morris Magnetic Brushes, which are fantastic brushes that have been reviewed a little bit here on YouTube, but I don't see a lot of reviews for, so go check that out. I will link it here. All right, thanks for taking the time to watch. I'll see you in the next video. This is an innovative way to keep brushes in a way that's convenient and practical and